I am a girl with Asperger's syndrome. I'm the Aspie girl. Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be telling you a story about my favorite teacher of all time and how she impacted me and my future. I hope a lot of you can relate to this story I'm about to tell you, and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into the video. So as you guys may know, I have high functioning autism, but I have been naturally talented with computers since a very young age. At only four years old, I learned how to use the computer all by myself with absolutely no help. My parents didn't even have to teach me how to use the computer. I went on the computer more than playing with my toys or doing anything a typical four-year-old would do. And it made me learn how to use the computer unbelievably fast and easy. Because of how much I loved computers, when we did a project in kindergarten about what we want to be when we grow up, I wrote, when I grow up, I want to work with computers. We did a similar project in first grade, but that time I wrote, when I grow up, I want to be a computer teacher. Computers have always been my most favorite thing in the whole world. I was pretty much natural at learning how to use the computer. Using the computer has always been my strength. All throughout elementary school and middle school, my best performance was in computer classes. Towards the end of 6th grade, I had to choose my electives for 7th grade. My one-on-one -on -one aide at the time, let's call her Miss O, pointed out the computer animation and interior design electives at my middle school and said, Alexa, you'd love these classes. They are both computer classes and you're great with computers. Why don't you take these classes? I immediately said, yes, I want to take these classes and chose both computer animation and interior design as electives for 7th grade. Not only did I enjoy these classes, but I really liked the teacher. Let's call her Miss K. I would have had Miss K in 6th grade, but she was on maternity leave that year, so I didn't get to have her until 7th grade. Miss K was so nice, especially when her students would ask for help, and she was also very friendly. She loved kids, and she was so good with kids too. She also loved to give her students candy. Basically, she liked to make class fun and enjoyable. I really enjoyed what I was learning. I was a very hard worker in Miss K's class. I always got an A plus in her class. Miss K was my favorite teacher during seventh grade because of how sweet and fun she was. And her class was a lot of fun too. She always smiled. She had this really sweet, bubbly personality. And she did the absolute sweetest things for others. She also had really pretty hair. I would have complimented her on her hair, but I was way too shy. Towards the end of seventh grade, I had to choose my electives for eighth grade, my last year of middle school. I immediately chose the electives Miss K was teaching. There weren't any interior design classes for 8th grade, but they did have a similar elective called CAD, short for Computer Aided Design, which I chose along with another computer animation class. Not even a week into my 8th grade year, I was in my CAD class being a hard worker as usual, and when I looked over at the front desk from my seat, I caught Miss K smiling at me. She then asked me, Do you need anything, Alexa? Do you have any questions? In the sweetest tone of voice. And I told her I was fine. She then told me out of the blue, You're doing a great job today, Alexa. Keep up the good work. She even said goodbye to me when class was over that day. She continued to give me this special attention every single day. I asked Miss O why Miss K was giving me all of this attention, and she said, She likes you. She thinks you're special because you're really good with computers. Miss K and I ended up forming a special bond. 
I always looked forward to going to her class. I was always determined to do my best in her class. And she and I even had the same love for America's Next Top Model and Tyra Banks. Even though I enjoyed going to speech and OT, the therapies I would get at school a couple times a week because I had special needs, I was sad when they pulled me out of Miss K's class for speech and OT because I just wanted to stay in her class. Not only that, but Miss K did the nicest things for me. First off, the day before Christmas Eve, before she left the school to go home, she came up to me and gave me a hug, which immediately made my day. Also, one day in her class, Miss K was looking through some notes from her former students. It gave me the idea to give her a note myself that she could look back on, so I wrote Miss K is awesome on a piece of paper and gave it to her. It ended up making her really, really happy. She told me that I had made her day, and she even hung my note up in her closet with all the other notes. There's actually one nice thing she did that really meant a lot to me. Once in the hallways, I was struggling to carry not only my books, but these very heavy grocery bags all the way across the school. And Miss K saw me. She asked me if I needed help. And I said, no thanks, even though I was clearly struggling. She then said, no, Alexa, you do need help. Let me help you. Took the heavy bags from me and carried them for me across the entire school. It was probably the sweetest thing she has done for me all year. It was so unbelievably nice of her that I still haven't forgotten about it even after six years. I got emotional towards the end of the year because I was going to high school the next year and I had to say goodbye to Miss K. She was the best teacher that I've ever had and I was really going to miss her, especially since I had formed such a bond with her. When I told Miss O how much I was going to miss Miss K, she suggested that I ask her for her email address and keep in touch with her, so I did. Miss K told me that I could email her anytime via her school email address. And she told me that I could come visit her at the middle school anytime too. At the end of the year, I wrote her a thank you letter. I also asked her to sign my yearbook, which she happily did. This is what she wrote in my yearbook. However, after I graduated middle school, I never got around to emailing her until three years later when I decided to reach out to her and send her an email asking if she remembered me and updating her on how I was doing. As it had been years since I last spoke to her, I wasn't expecting her to reply at all. Once I had sent the email, I panicked and thought to myself, Oh my gosh, why did I email her? I haven't talked to her in three years, so she most likely forgot about me. This is so embarrassing. Well, she ended up replying to me only a couple hours later, saying that she did indeed remember me, and that she was excited to hear from me. And she even updated me on how she was doing. I was shocked that she replied, even though it was the first time I spoke to her in years. Then on, she and I kept in touch via email and even followed each other on Twitter. It really means the world to me that even though I have autism, Miss K took the time to really get to know me and notice my good qualities, like my talent with computers and my kind nature. Miss K was the one teacher who changed my life and inspired me to continue pursuing CAD and animation even after middle school. You know I have a YouTube channel where I post 3D models and CJ animations that I've made, right? Well, I learned everything on Alexa Gerard's 3D modeling and animation from Miss K. I learned how to build 3D models in her CAD class and make animations in her computer animation class. Miss K even inspired me to take a coding class at my current school and love coding. She is my favorite teacher of all time and she inspired me to pursue a career in computers. 
I still keep in touch with her, and she and I are still really great friends to this day. If I ever visit her again, if it's okay with her, I will vlog about it. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing my favorite teacher story. If you like this video, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. I post a new video every Friday. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, feel free to share a story about your favorite teacher in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye.